So last year around May, we finally got to the point here at this YouTube channel where we ran out of space. So we had to find a better solution for all the data here. So Lucas and I, this is Lucas. He edits all the videos. We did a bunch of research and we came to the conclusion that we should get a NAS setup. Sarah Dietschy and Linus Tech Tips, who are way smarter than I am, were all like, you should get a NAS. And we were all like, okay, Sarah and Linus, you're right. Okay, so this is our NAS setup right here. The thing about buying a NAS is that it's not like really the most fun purchase to make. Kind of like buying like a snowblower or winter tires or a dog sled or your igloo's roof caved in. These are Canadian jokes. Like if you're Canadian or American or European or African or Middle East, just like if you're human. But it's one of those purchases that's not fun to make but you have to make it because it makes your life way, way easier. See, the reason that we got this is because we were so bad at backing up our project. Then I always go to Lucas, I'm like, Lucas, did you back up the project? He's like, no, because I'm working all the time. There's a system in place that will start to back this up as well as like redundancy options so that our files are safe and then I don't have to scream at Lucas. See this box right here? This box. Let me explain what we used to do. We had this Google Sheet and then we'd have one column and we would put the hard drive. It'd be like KHM one. Then we would list all the projects in the second column that are on that hard drive and then repeat the process for every single project and every single hard drive. By the way, this system is called DAS, which stands for Direct Attached Storage and NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. This worked. And if you guys are not in a position to get a NAS at this point in your life, I would definitely do this. I'm very passionate about NAS, obviously. <laughs> so the NAS is essentially its own computer. It is hooked up to our internet through an ethernet cable. And that means that anybody who's signed into the network, whether it's a laptop or a computer, can access those files. But it also means that we've essentially built our own cloud that we can access anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter the location, you can access your files. They have a software system called Quick Connect. You have your own little link and you can find your files. Let me tell you how we do data management now. How do we organize our photos and videos? First, you shoot your video or your photos. Then you offload them onto a computer. We have a folder structure like this, which you can download for free, by the way. If you go to my website, thechrishow.com, sign up for my newsletter, you get the sample pack, and there's a folder structure in there. So go and download that if you don't have a system that works for you already. Now there's a Lucas SSD, and then there's a Chris SSD. Now the reason why we use SSDs is because they are super, super fast. We can just plug them right into our computer and edit right off of them. In addition to having the two backups right there, Lucas usually edits from home, which means it's in another location, which is even safer. So then when we're done the project, we consolidate all the files together onto one hard drive, and then we plug that directly into the NAS. And then we use their software, Synology software called Disk Station Manager to directly transfer the files from the SSD onto the NAS. Then the NAS automatically backs up to our remote NAS at Lucas's place because the NASs talk to each other. Now this might all sound like overkill, especially considering how much these things cost, but a very real scenario is that this townhouse that we just got could burn down and everything in this room could get damaged. If this A7S breaks, you know what? I can go and buy another A7S III. You know what I can't replace? are all the trips I've been on, all the photos I've taken, all the memories I've created, the entire body of work of this entire YouTube channel. And that's why I will pay anything to keep those files. They mean more than anything else in my entire life, except for Lizzie. But Lizzie and the files, those two things. And the cats, the cats too. <sighs> files, cats, Lizzie, or, or Lizzie, cats, files, yes. Uh, excuse me for a quick second. I just found out some very shocking information. 65% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. We're on a mission to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year. And if we hit that goal, we're gonna be giving away a Sony A7S III to one of you. So if you just press that button, see how easy it is? You might win a camera. If you guys don't want to buy two NAS systems, I totally get it. So you could also find a friend who has a Synology NAS and then back up to their system. You can also just back it up to Dropbox or Google Drive, which is what we were doing before our second NAS. The issue with Dropbox is that I pay $100 a month for that service right now for unlimited storage software. And that's $1,200 a year I would ideally like not to pay. Okay, so now that we have a backup, we have one more fail safe in place. This is called a RAID system. So Synology has its own 
version of a RAID called SHR, which stands for Synology Hybrid RAID. Essentially, it just optimizes the space on those disks right there. Very, very easy to use. So if you're a NAS noob like me and Lucas, it's very, very intuitive. We have one drive of redundancy, which means that if any one of these eight drives fails, the data will be pieced together from the other seven drives to rebuild that failed drive. Also, if you're curious which drives to use, we like to use the Iron Wolf drives, which are specifically designed for your NAS. I forgot to mention one other thing. There's a health management software that Seagate creates, which keeps you up to date with the status of your drives, which essentially means that you can prevent failures before they happen. So that's always a good bonus. I will link everything that we talked about in this video below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Here, let's dance to trap music. Like if you like trap cats. <laughs>